Hello and welcome to Jim Lorenzen Field here in Lamar's, Iowa. I am Hot Carl, along with Josh Schreiner. We have the two and four Galen Catholic Jays taking on the one and five South O'Brien Wolverines. It is homecoming here in Lamar's. We are two minutes away from kickoff. We have the coin toss out at the 50 yard line currently. It appears that South O'Brien has won the toss and deferred to the second half. The Jays will receive the opening kickoff going from left to right as you are watching, which I'm directionally challenged would be east to west. East to west. Perfect. Tonight's officials for the game are Marlo Van Ginkle, Jake Anderson, Tim Snyder, Brent Ripperda and Sean Creeman. We will be back in 60 seconds. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Since the 1980s, Colbeck Incorporated has been a family-run business providing their customers with quality wood and feed grinding services throughout Northwest Iowa. Colbeck Incorporated knows that your time is valuable and they pride themselves on getting the job done in a prompt and reliable fashion. Local cattle feeders have been relying on Colbeck Incorporated hay grinding for 30 years and Brian and Kevin are proud of their partnerships they've built with their customers. Whether it's grinding, mulch, or hauling, call Colbeck Incorporated today and see what they can do for you. Marcus Lumber's showroom offers you an experience like no other. So when you're thinking of replacing your windows, Marcus Lumber is sure to help add clarity for the decision best fit for your home. Featuring Thermotech Premium Windows, they will show you quality, energy-efficient options. Made in the upper Midwest, Thermotech knows a thing or two about the temperature extremes that we face. So expect more energy savings, more beauty, and more comfort with Marcus Lumber and Thermotech. Tech windows. Welcome back. Kickoff is approaching shortly. We have a Landon Ryder and Kale Pearson back deep for the Jays. Derek Paulson to kick it away for the Wolverines. And Paulson kicks it away. It is fielded by Pearson at the 15, and he brings it out to the right side. He's across the 20, cuts it back, gets out to about the 30. Jays will have pretty solid field position to start the game. It's our first somewhat chilly night of the evening, or of the evening, of the year for the Jays football team. Kickoff was about 47 degrees. Good football weather. Oh, yeah, finally. Beats high 80s. McCarty takes a snap and hands to Pearson over the left side. He tries to find a seam, cuts it up, gets across the 35, breaks a few arm tackles, gets out past the 38 to the 39. Nice run. Pretty close to the first down. That was a nice run to start his evening. Bring up second and short. Jays come out with four receivers. Pistol formation in the backfield. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson up the middle. Gets up to the 40 and falls forward to about the 42. And that'll be enough for a Jays first down. Great start for the offense. Both teams coming off a win last week. 
Galen beat Sibley O'Cheaden and South O'Brien beat Hartley Melvin Sanborn. Each team won by one point, too. Nail biters. McCarty takes the snap, rolls out to his right, keeps it himself, breaks an arm tackle across the 50, across the 40. He's across the 30. He's across the 20, the 10, and he's into the end zone for a Jays touchdown. Cole McCarty takes it 58 yards. Broken arm tackle at, a, at the 50, and he was gone from there. Nice run by Cole. Great start for the Jays offense tonight. We've got Landon Ryder out to hold the snap, and Will Harpenaw set to kick the PAT. I refuse to say anything other than that. Hold is good. Kick is blocked. Oh. Bummer. There goes his perfect average. Didn't want to say anything. With 10.33 to go, first quarter, it is Galen Catholic 6 and South O'Brien 0. We will be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. We're back. 10.33 to go, first quarter. Galen set to kick it away. Dylan Pecos set to kick it deep for the Jays. And he gets it away. South O'Brien fields it at about the 20 with a running start. It gets across the 30. Makes a nice move and is met at the 35 by number two, Jake Bogan. Nice stick there for the Jays special teams. It'll be first and 10 South O'Brien at their own 36-yard line. Let's see if the Jays defense can come alive early like the offense did. South O'Brien takes the snap and hands it off and is met at about the 37. Gain of one. Bogan seems fired up tonight. Oh, yeah. He's ready to go. Making some nice pops early. Freck sends a man in motion, takes a snap, falls down, gets the pitch away, though, and is met in the backfield. Cole McCarty with the tackle there for the Jays. That was a nice job to get to get that one away. Damian Villarreal did what he could, but that was blown up in the backfield due to the quarterback probably got his foot stepped on, I would assume, by one of the linemen coming out of that. Jays had a nice push off on def the defense side there too. Absolutely. Get right back in that backfield. Brings up third and long. Call it 12. See if the Jays defense can get off the field. Freck takes the snap, hands it to the fullback. First man through is met at the 35 and falls forward to about the 39. That looked like Justin Paulson on the carry. Cole McCarty and Gabe Wilchin on the tackle. It'll bring up fourth and eight. Good stop there by the Jays' defense. Get the ball right back to the offense. 
Lane and Ryder back deep, expecting a punt. Derek Paulson set to kick it away for the Wolverines. Good snap. Punt is away. Ryder fields it at the 21. Comes to the right side. Has a seam. Gets across the 40. And is brought down at about the 41. Nice return there by Landon. It'll be first and 10 Jays at their own 41. 8.23 to go first quarter. Cole Cox with the stop for the Wolverines there. See what the Jays offense can do on their second possession. Would they have three plays? It was quick score. Quickest score we've had oh, this year. For sure. Oh, penalty flag? Well, instead of starting at the 41, they will be starting at their own. Whoa. Uh, 12? Must have been a hold or a, I don't even know. Yeah, they called a hold, which is wild. There was nobody even near the return man when he caught it. But still Jay's ball. 8.23 to go first quarter. 6 nothing, Galen. The Jays break the huddle. Four receivers for McCarty. Takes the snap, hands to Pearson. Nope. Oh, hands to Bogan, who breaks a tackle at the line of scrimmage and gets across the 20. Still breaking tackles. Still on his feet. He's fired up. He is. He's very fired up. Ready for tonight. Gets brought down at the 24. It's enough for a first down for the Jays. I don't know. Mrs. Jill Harpenau's speech today at the pep rally at the coronation must have gotten to somebody. Jays have two receivers both side. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Bogan, who's met at the line of scrimmage and keeps the legs pumping, breaks a tackle, gets across the 30, out to about the 32. Yeah, Jake Bogan's running with a purpose here in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Those legs determined. Brings up second and two. For the Jays, 7.42 remaining first quarter. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff to Bogan, keeps it himself over the left side, has a nice block out there, makes a cut. Lots of space. There's there a penalty. There is a flag down. Currently, he's brought down at the South O'Brien 45, but that looks like it's probably coming back. Looked like a nice block out there on the edge. Maybe he held on just a little bit too long. Ashton Hunt on the stop for the Wolverines defense. And they did march the ball back. It is a hold on the Jays. It was downfield a bit, so instead of making it second and 12, it will be second and about eight. Not as bad as it could have been, but I'm sure Coach Schindler will not be pleased with the penalty of holding there. Had a nice gain there brought back. Right. McCarty takes the snap. Hands it up the middle, fakes Keeps the it. hand off up the middle, has a nice seam again. Oh, makes a move Whoa. across the 50, has a breakaway again. Can he get there? He's at the 20, the 10, touchdown, Cole McCarty. This one was a 73-yard touchdown run. Well, Cole McCarty's having a heck of a 
five minutes and 22 seconds. Has two rushing touchdowns of 130 yards, right? I mean, that's a good week. I know Galen's had a goal of wanting 300 rushing yards a game. A oh, yeah, couple runs like that. and Oh, that's going to help. We're, we're, they're going to get their goal if that keeps going. Oh, yeah. Heck of a start for the Jays' offense. Break the huddle. Appear to be going for two. Four receivers. Pearson in the backfield for McCarty. Takes the snap. Hands to, oh, fakes to Pearson. Rolls out. Flips it. Is intercepted at the goal line. It's a dead ball in high school. So with 6.38 remaining, first quarter, Galen Catholic 12, South O'Brien 0. We're back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planner Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today to learn more about our large selection of new and used planters. AgriVision Equipment, focused on your future. We're back. Jim Lorenzen Field, Lamar's Iowa. 12-0 Galen. 6.38 remaining first quarter. Cole McCarty, the star of the first half of the first quarter with two long rushing touchdowns for the Jays' offense. Not to take anything away from Cole, though, but those holes come from that O-line. Oh, yeah, the O-line's having a day right now. Always got to give credit where it's due. Oh, yeah. And they don't hardly ever get that credit. Nope. The Hog Mollies are out there doing their duty with no regard for the fame. They just do it because they know that's what they're supposed to do. Bogan kicks it away. Villarreal catches at the 20 on a run. Gets across the 30. Is met at the 35 and will be brought down at the 35. Nice return that time. Oh, yeah. Solid starting field position for the Wolverines for their second possession of the game. 6.32 to go first quarter. Freck with the eye formation. Hands it to the first man through up to the 40. Justin Paulson, the ball carrier for the Wolverines. Will Harpena on the stop for the Jays. Make it second and five. South O'Brien. Freck sends a man in motion, drops back, throws it out to the left. It's completed past the 45, past the 50 into Jays' territory. Derek Paulson, nice run after the catch there for the Wolverines' offense. Is marked out of bounds at the Jays' 46. Nice play there to get a first down for the Wolverines. Quick to the line. Freck takes a snap, hands to Paulson, first man through. Brought down at the 40 of the Jays. Brings up second and four. Wolverines are getting nice chunks here in their second possession. Freck under center. 
Takes the snap, hands to the second man through, is met in the backfield. Damian Villarreal with the carry. Met by the stout defensive line of the Jays that time. It'll bring up third and five. Coming up on five minutes to go, first quarter. See if the Jays can get a stop or if the Wolverines can make it manageable if they try to go for it here. Freck with the snap, hands to Paulson. Nice push. Pile keeps moving, falls forward to the 35 of the Jays, and that will be enough Just for a Wolverine first down. Good response here by the Wolverines after the two big touchdowns for the Jays. You like this up-tempo feel here. We have a whistle. We have a my timeout by the head official. And we're ready to go. Wolverines break the huddle. Two receivers far side. I formation. Freck hands to Paulson. First man through again. Gets met at the 34 and pushed back. Mark him down at the 33. Gain about two. The nest of Jays were there again. Love that term. Brings up second and eight. 4.20 to go, first quarter. Freck takes the snap, swings it out. Oh. Dangerous pass. Mm. Floater. Looked like Cole Cox out there. Went up to try to grab it. Was met by, is that Kale Pearson? He played to the whistle. Made sure if the man did catch it that he was not going anywhere. Definitely not. Way to finish the play by Kale. Brings up third and eight for the Wolverines at the 33-yard line. Freck takes the snap. Pump fakes to his right. Looks over the – throws it deep right. Has a man out there. Double coverage. Ooh. For a second, I couldn't find the ball. I thought maybe he caught it. But it fell harmlessly incomplete near the goal line. Bring up fourth and eight at the 33-yard line of the Jays. For a second, I thought Ryder had it for Jays. Same. He came up when he realized the ball hit the ground, and he did not look very happy. He thinks maybe he could have had that one. Wolverines appear to be going for it on fourth and eight. Let's see what they got cooked up here. Freck takes the snap, fakes the handoff, has a man in his face. Harpenau. Will Harpenau came through there. The pass is incomplete. He got in there quick. He, there's another man. I can't tell who that is. 55. Wilchin. Gabe Wilchin was back nope, there. Nope, nope, Brady Drugmiller. Brady Drugmiller. Brady, Dr Brady Drugmiller back there with Will Harpenau. 54-55. Had a me meeting at the quarterback. Be a turnover on downs. They were in that backfield real quick. Oh, yeah. Freck turned around from the play fake and had two men right in his face. We have Mrs. Jill Harpenau down there leading the charge with the sign. Her and the mascot. Absolutely. Cole McCarty takes the snap, pitches out to Kale Pearson over the left side, makes a cut up the middle across the 40, keeps his legs pumping out to the 45, and that'll be enough for a Jays first down. Jay's running game is firing on all cylinders here in the first quarter to start this ball game. JB is down there in the front row loving up on the elementary students here at homecoming. Jim Lorenzen Field and Lamars for Galen Catholic. McCarty takes a snap. Hands it up the middle. Nope. Keeps it in the backfield himself and is brought down in the backfield. Penalty on the play as well, I believe.
thought I saw something flying around. Maybe I'm just losing it. Nope. There's a block in the back on the Jays. Is that a hold? Yeah, block, block in the, the back. back. Interesting. It's kind of hard to do with the run up the middle, but it'll be first and 18. Thereabouts. Ish. Coming up on three minutes to go, first quarter. McCarty has four receivers. Takes the snap. Hands to Pearson over the right. Makes a cut. Gets to about the 38. Gain of one. It'll be second and 17 for the Jays at their own 38. McCarty has four receivers, takes a snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself over the right side, makes another cut across the 50, gets down to about the 44 of the Wolverines. Enough for a first down. Spot will give him enough. He's having a day. Great decision right there by Cole to keep that one. Right. Jays come out at the Wolverine 44-yard line. Pistol formation with four receivers. McCarty takes the snap, hands the Pearson up the middle. Gets a couple to about the 42. Maybe a gain of one. They mark him at the 42. Call it game of two. 140 remaining first quarter. Jay's offense has had the ball most of the first quarter. They come out. Power formation. Tight set this time. Pearson to McCarty's right. McCarty takes the snap. Hands to Pearson over the left. Tries to get the edge, gets to the 40, pushed out of bounds at the 40. Gain of a couple. Bring up third and about six for the Jays at the 40-yard <clears throat> line. Coming up on one minute here in the first quarter. Jays come out with four wide. Pearson is behind McCarty in the pistol. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff to Pearson, rolls to his right, decides to tuck it and run, gets to the 35, lowers the shoulder. Where are they going to mark him? Just shy. Mark him at the 35. Looks like they'll be about a yard or so short of the first down. With how they've had that running game going here in the first quarter, I would not be surprised to see uh, keeping it on the ground to try to pick this up to keep the possession alive. We have a tight set for the Jays. Pearson behind McCarty in the pistol. McCarty takes a snap, hands to Pearson right up the middle, lowers the shoulder. Will depend on the spot. Close. The near official has it close. We'll see where they mark him. And the head official says it's a first down for the Jays. That was wild. He didn't even really look at it. He just said first down. Mm, they're still looking. Now we're deciding. I'd be surprised if there's not at least a measurement. We are stopping the clock. Going to bring the chains out. I don't know. Spot might look a little short from up here. That'd be tight. Chain gang. Love it. Shout out to the chain gang. 
We are just short. Just short. It will be a turnover on downs. Wolverine defense makes a nice stand there. Wolverines will take over at their own 34 and a half. We'll say 34 and a half. First and 10. 15 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Big stop for South O'Brien on that one. Oh, yeah. Kill Pearson's upset with himself. I'm sure he'll get more opportunities here in the game to make amends for coming up about three inches short. Great effort there either way. Freck takes the snap, hands to Paulson. First man through, lowers the shoulder. Gets out to about the 40, 39 yard line or 40 yard line. McCarty with the stop for the Jays. That will be the end of the first quarter. So after one, here in Lamar's, Galen Catholic leads South O'Brien 12 to nothing. We will be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City, including Galen and Spalding Catholic. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There are no other charitable gifts that offer you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Consider the gift of Catholic education. Welcome back. Start of the second quarter. Jim Lorenzen Field. Galen Catholic leads South O'Brien 12 to nothing. South O'Brien has the ball on their own 40-yard line. Second and four. Just had a great fourth down stop to get the ball back. Freck sends a man in motion. Hands to Paulson. First man through is met. Swallowed up real quick. Gain of about a yard. Yep. If that. D-line bowing up again. Bring up third and three. See if the D-line can hold strong. I formation with two receivers to the far side. Motion man. Jays jump. Had a couple Jays break the line of scrimmage there. That would be a first down for the Wolverines without running a snap. It would be first and 10. South O'Brien at their own 46. Freck sends a man in motion. Drops back, throws it out to the left. The high throw. Had to be. Harpenau had a hand up right away. Right. Trying to deflect that. Can't tell who's out there trying to lay the boom on him. Maybe Brant Klein out there. If he would have caught it. Freck takes the handoff, hands to Paulson over the left. Gets about a yard. The Nesta Jays is there again. Swallowing them up. Third and long. Harpenaut and Droge Miller there on the stop for the Jays defense leading the way. It'll be 
Third and nine at the 46, 47. 10.30 to go here in the first half. Freck takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looks left, throws it out, has a man. Complete. Bogan on the tackle. He's having a nice first half, too. Both sides of the ball. Bring up fourth and five for the Wolverines just across midfield at the 49. Let's see what they're going to do. Landon Riders back deep, expecting a punt. It does appear that they will punt it away. Snap is good, handled nicely. Punt is away. It's a short one. They let it bounce at the 30. Takes a South O'Brien bounce past the 25, down at about the 22, 23 yard line. Jays will take over. 9.33 to go, second quarter. See if the Jays offense can keep that running game alive like they've done so nicely here in the first quarter. Pistol formation with four wide receivers. McCarty takes the snap, hands it to Pearson, who's running hard up to the 25. Gain of a couple. Bring up second and eight. Kale's running hard. Would not be surprised to see him bust one here at some point. Coming up on nine minutes to go, second quarter. They have four receivers. Pearson to McCarty's right. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, throws a little pop pass over the middle, complete. Past the 50, past the 40, gets down to about the 35. Dylan Pecos on the reception. Nice job there by Pecos. McCarty put that one right on the money so he could keep running in stride. Gets down to about the 33 of the Wolverines. Great play there. David Botchin on the stop for the Wolverines defense. Big play through the air, though. First and 10 Jays. Tight formation. McCarty takes the snap. Hands to Pearson over the left. Makes a cut up field. Gets past the 20, makes a cut, past the 15 to the 10, the 5. Is brought down at about the 2. Nice run there by Kale. Like you said, he was due to break yeah. one. Those little ones add up and do a big one. Looked like Justin Paulson was there on the play for the Wolverines defense to stop him just short of the end zone. But the Jays are knocking on the door again. First and goal from the two. Tight formation again for the Jays. McCarty takes a snap. Hands to Pearson over the right side. He's trying to get the edge. Gets there. Touchdown. Great block out there. Is that Pecos? I think. Yes. Dylan Pecos had a nice job there to set the edge so Pearson could get into the end zone. Nice job by Kale. Two-yard touchdown run. Makes it 18 to zero. See what the Jays decide to do if they're going to try for that PAT or. Ball is placed at the three-yard line for the point after touchdown attempt. I would take it they're going for it. It appears that they are going for two. Place it on the hash. We have three receivers far side, one near side. McCarty takes the snap, rolls to his right. Stirs a little pump fake and cuts it up the field and gets into the end zone himself for the two-point. So with 8.01 to go, second quarter, Jays lead this one 20 to nothing. 
We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. Sitzman Construction, Lamar's, general contractors you can trust with the job you need done, when you need it done. Call Jeremy at Sitzman Construction when you need a remodel or a complete build, and they work with EPS Buildings. Jeremy takes the time to know what you need. Past clients say he's reliable, honest, fair-minded, and reasonably priced. Contact Jeremy at Sitzman Construction. Jeremy and his crew will satisfy all of your construction needs. 712-540-2731. Welcome back to Jim Lorenzen Field, Galen Catholic's homecoming. They lead the South O'Brien Schools Wolverines 20 to nothing with 8.01 to go in the second quarter. Three rushing touchdowns by the Jays so far here in the first quarter. It's what Coach Schindler likes to see, I'm sure. We have Villarreal back deep. Pecos set to kick it away for the Jays. Balls away. Fielded at about the 10. Brings up the field to the 25, the 30, makes a sidestep and is met at about the 33. The Wolverines will have pretty decent starting field position again. We've got a Wolverine down. We will step away. We'll be back 60 seconds. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City, including Galen and Spalding Catholic. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There are no other charitable gifts that offer you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Consider the gift of Catholic education. We have Damien Villarreal was the down Wolverine, but he's up walking off on his own power. See if the Wolverines offense can get some momentum going here in the second quarter. We have the official talking to the Jays defensive line. Wolverines break the huddle. Freck takes the snap, hands it to the second man through. Gets a short gain there. Gain of a couple. We have a whistle. We have a helmet off. Gabe Wilchin coming off for the Jays. <laughs> Fred. 
Freck takes the snap, hands to Paulson, first man through. Gets a nice little chunk there. Picks up about five. Make it third and medium. Third and about five. Freck stands a man in motion. Takes a snap, looks left, comes back to his right, throws it, and it is bobbled, bounces off a couple of people. Just off the fingertips. And hits the ground. Bring up fourth and five. Let's see what the Wolverines try to do. Looks like they're going to punt it away. See if they get try to get Jays to jump again. Nice snap. Punt is away. Bounces at the 37. Takes a nice South O'Brien roll again down to the 23 of the Jays. Bounced at about the 40 and rolled down to the 27. Nice roll. Be Jay's ball, first and 10 at the 23. 6.31 to go before the half. It is homecoming. The court will be announced at halftime. Our king and queen are Gabe Wilchin and Lindsey Ryder this year. Jays break the huddle. Four receivers. McCarty takes the snap, fakes to Bogan, keeps it himself over the left, has another nice seam. Breaks an arm tackle at the 35. Gets out to about the 39. Man, McCarty's just busting through the holes tonight. Another big chunk. Gain of about 15. First and 10 Jays at their own 39. Four wide. Bogan to McCarty's left. Fakes the handoff, looks to throw, has Ryder. Oh. Ooh. Just off the fingertips, took a good hit on that one. If you would have hung on, it would have been a heck of a catch. Cole Cox laid the boom there on Ryder that time. Just off the tip of his fingers. Brings up second and ten. Four wide. Logan to McCarty's left. Takes a snap. Fakes the handoff. Keeps himself up the middle. Has another big gain across the 50. Breaks a tackle to the 45. Breaks one more tackle. He might have had another big touchdown, but is brought down by Derek Paulson of the Wolverines. Ball at the Wolverines 43. Another big chunk. Moving the ball well tonight. It's crazy that Cole just had a 12-yard carry and it probably lowered his average by like 15 yards. That's, right. a, that's a bummer. First and 10 Jays at the 43. McCarty takes the snap, hands to the running back who has a nice hole over the left himself. Couple step arms, turns the corner across the 25 to the 20, Cuts keeps it. his feet down to about the 11 or 12. Jake Bogan. Ooh. Having a day. And we have a J down at about the 10. We'll be back. MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with 
disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help. And helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City, including Galen and Spalding Catholic. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There are no other charitable gifts that offer you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Consider the gift of Catholic education. Jake Bogan, the ball carrier, was the down J. He was able to get up and walk off under his own power. Got down to about the 12, had a nice run himself. Jay's running game tonight is working wonders. Five minutes remaining in the second quarter. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson over the right, tries to get the edge. Brought down in the backfield. Brought down at about the 20. Loss of about eight. Bring up second and long for the Jays. See what the Jays have up their sleeve. 420 to go until halftime. McCarty takes a snap, rolls to his left, spins off a man, gets back through the 20, gets down about the 18. Will Harper not getting a little scrappy out there. Bring up third in. 14 long. or so? Long. We'll go with 14. Ball's at the 18. McCarty has Pearson in the backfield with him. Four receivers. Takes the snap. Fakes the handoff. Keeps it himself up the middle. Gets across the 10 to the 5. Skips through a tackle and is into the, into end, the zone. end zone. Cole McCarty with his third rushing touchdown of the evening. Having a day here in the first half. Broke through several arm tackles there on his way to the end zone. Was met at about the 10. Skipped through a couple and covered about five yards on a skip. Nice hold to run through, though, too. To get oh, yeah. There. Offensive line is eaten. And if they get, what, 300 yards rushing, sounds like they'll be eaten again some night at the Golden Pheasant over in Remsen. Will Harpen on for the extra point. Ryder gets the snap down. Harpenau's kick is low, but it's through. Good. So with 3.25 to go until the half, Galen Catholic leads South O'Brien 27 to nothing. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. Welcome back. Jim Lorenzen Field. Galen Catholic leads South O'Brien 27-0. 3.25 to go until the half. Paik is set to kick it away for the Jays. 
Balls away. Bounces at about the 10. Feel it at the 5. Brings it up through the middle. Now bounces it out to the left. Gets to the 25. And it's brought down. And that is where the Wolverines offense will start this drive. See if they can get some momentum down and get some points before the half. Or if the Jays defense can stay stout. South O'Brien comes out in the I formation. Freck takes the snap and hands to the first man through. Justin Paulson. Gain of about three. Be second and medium. Three minutes to go until the half. Freck has a motion man, takes a snap, pitches it out, and it's dropped Ooh. in the backfield. Ball was live. I'm not – Jays fall on it. Looked like the Wolverines were on top of it. I think Cole McCarty came up with it. Billy Lang tried his best to get on it, but the ball must have squirted away from him. Be first and 10 Jays at the Wolverine 23. 2.38 to go until the half. Great field position here. Oh, yeah. Be a great way to end the half for the Jays offense if they could punch this one into the end zone. Cole McCarty was the one who recovered the fumble. Good call. He now takes the snap and turns and hands to Kale Pearson, who tries to bounce it left, but is grabbed at the line of scrimmage and could not wiggle through the arm tackle on that one. We have a Wolverine down, so we will step aside, and we will be back shortly. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planner Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control. We're back. Jackson Weir was able to come off under his own power, which is great to see. McCarty takes the snap, rolls left, flips it out. Just, Just too out. high for Ryder. He had a little bit of a rush on him that time by Justin Paulson. He's doing quite a bit for the Wolverines here tonight. Bring up third and ten. Two minutes remaining until the half. Cardi takes the snap, hands to Pearson over the left, is met at the 20 and brought down. Paulson again, there on the stop. Nice tackle by the Wolverines. Brings up fourth and seven. 140 to go until the half. I would expect the Jays to probably try to go for this one. A little far for a field goal attempt probably. Be about 37 yards or so. Pretty impressive for high school. High school. Four wide receivers. Pearson to McCarty's left. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff, has a Pecos open. Unable to bring that one in one handed. Had the position though. So that'll be a turnover on downs. 
Wolverines defense does a nice job to bow up before the half. It'll be first and 10 Wolverines at their own 20. 111 to go until the half. See what the Wolverines have in store for the last minute. Try doing anything wild. Takes a snap, hands to Paulson. Gain of a few. Looked like they were maybe in an unbalanced formation there. Talked to Coach Westoff about the unbalanced formation a little bit today. Seemed to be a pretty big fan of it back in his playing day. Takes the snap, hands to the second man through. Billy Lang gets back to about the line of scrimmage. We have 15 seconds until the half. Wolverines are not in really that much of a hurry. It appears as though they're all right with bringing it down to the half. Jake Bogan's out there dancing around. I think he's excited for halftime too. Either that or chili. Or that. And that's the horn. So at halftime it is Galen Catholic 27, South O'Brien 0. We'll be back in one minute to have a little bit of a rundown of the first half. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. Whether you are combining, hauling grain, or heating your home, fuel powers the fall. When it comes to energy, you need a company who is trustworthy, understands your needs, and who delivers to you. A company who is local, reliable, and affordable. That company is Ag State. Ag State Energy is clean, comfortable, convenient, while staying competitively priced for our customers. Give Laura Sanguin or Seth Duff a call for all your energy needs. At Floyd Valley Healthcare, we want you to travel somewhere fun, not to a doctor's appointment. Specialists, specialty clinics, and outpatient services bring advanced skills and training and make diagnostics and treatment capabilities more accessible, keeping care convenient and close to home. Working in step with your healthcare team, specialists communicate and collaborate to provide you and your family the care that you need. To learn more about specialty services, talk with your provider or visit floydvalley.org. Welcome back to halftime of homecoming here at Jim Lorenzen Field. Jays lead it 27 to 0. As I have said a few times, it is homecoming week here for the Jays. We are going to announce the royalty. The queen is Lindsay Ryder, and the king is Gabe Wilchin. The rest of the court included Aspen Mosier and Aiden Rulin. Aspen is the daughter of Ross Mosier. Aiden is the son of Brent and Mindy Rulin. The next pairing is Ellen Hunt and Dawson Barfel. Ellen is the daughter of Steve and Julie Hunt. Dawson is the son of Jeff and Jenny Barthel. Ellen Hunt and Dawson Barthel.
The next pairing is Nevea Hodgson and Nolan Nillis. Nevea is the daughter of Chris and Trista Hodgson. Nolan is the son of Lee and Angela Nillis. Nevea Hodgson and Nolan Nillis. The next pairing is Shayla Dreckman and Will Harpenaw. Shayla is the daughter of Chad and Beth Dreckman. Will is the son of Chad and Jill Harpenau. Shayla and Shayla Dreckman and Will Harpenau. The homecoming crown bearers are Cami Conger and Austin Carlson. Cami is the daughter of Tommy and Nikki Conger. Austin is the son of Paul and Maggie Carlson. Cami Conger and Austin Carlson. The homecoming MCs this year are Larissa Polin and Chance Calson. Larissa is the daughter of Joe and Lori Polin. Chance is the son of Mark and Shelly Calson. Larissa Polin and Chance Calson. Ladies and gentlemen, your Galen Catholic 2023 homecoming court. They look lovely, don't they? They look cold. Oh, yeah. Beautiful evening here in Lamar's. Great football weather. Great football weather. Not so nice for the girls in their pretty dresses. I'm sure they're ready to go put some sweats on. And next we will have the Galen Catholic Marching Band. They will be competing tomorrow at State Marching Band Contest, I believe, in Sheldon, Iowa. That'll be exciting. I want to give one more shout-out. I messed up a little bit on the king and queen. Lindsay is the daughter of Chuck and Tina Ryder. Gabe is the son of Ryan and Stacy Wilchin. Forgot to say that initially, so that one's on me. Anyways, for your viewing pleasure, here's the Galen Catholic Marching Band.
Nice. Welcome back. Technical difficulties. We had a nice run there by Justin Paulson, which was called back on a block in the back. So instead of a first and 10 at the 40, it's first and 10 at the 23. We'll redo it. Freck passes out, has a nice catch across the 30. Close to a first down. Brought down at about the 32. It'll be second in short, I think. Nope. Marked it a first down. First. Nice job there by the Wolverine offense. Freck takes the snap, swings it left, has a man, catches it. Ooh. Oh, fumble. Wolverine Number 11. Able to dive back on it. Derek Paulson had a nice catch. Brant Klein with the strip, forcing the fumble, but able to get back on it. Nice heads up play there by the Wolverines offense. I don't know. I think if Brant Klein would have realized he knocked it out, he would have probably had a pretty good shot at picking that up, but. As it is, it's second and 13. With the snap, first man through is Paulson. He's met immediately. Gain of. Gain of about one. Brings up third and about 11. 10 20 to go, third quarter. Freck under center. Takes a snap, drops back, pump fakes left, looks deep left, has a man behind the defense. Ooh, Derek Paulson had a step. Could not quite bring that in one-handed, though. That was almost a big play there for the Wolverine offense. Had the Jays' defense beat. And it brings up Got fourth and long. Him. Yeah, that was a nice throw. Brings up fourth down. Landon Ryder set back deep, expecting a punt. David Botchin set to punt it away for South O'Brien. Nice snap. Punts it high. That's a nice punt. Ryder fields at the 32, makes the first man miss over the right side across the 35 to the 40. Forced out of bounds there. Number 30, Caden Whitrock. Nice return there by Mr. Landon Ryder. Up to the 41. Jays will take over there. First and 10, 9.46 to go here in the third quarter. See if the Jays offense can keep that running game going here in the second half. Rough estimate we established at halftime was approximately 350 yards of rushing in the first half. Approximately. Could be 315. Could be 390. What we were told was 353. Shout out stat girls. McCarty takes a snap. Hands it to Pearson over the left who cuts it up the middle. Gets out to about the 44. Gain of three. Bring up second and seven. Jays have four wide receivers. Pearson shifts to McCarty's left. Takes a snap. Hands it to Pearson over the right. Spins off a man. Gets out to about the 49. Nice tough run there. About five yards for Kale. Brings up third and about two. Nine minutes to go here in the third quarter. Another nice thing about the Jays offense so far this evening is being successful running the ball will just keep that clock winding and winding and winding. Shorten this game a lot with some first downs here in the second half. 
McCarty in the pistol, takes a snap, fakes to Pearson, keeps it himself over the left, cuts it upfield, across the 50, gets to about the 47 of the Wolverines. Enough for a Jaybird first down. Nice job there by Cole to keep that one himself. Get upfield and get across the first down marker. Cheerleaders down there doing a great job firing up the crowd. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson up the middle. Gets a head of steam across the 40. Brought down at about the 40. Nice run there. Gain of about seven. We have a timeout on the field. Looks like maybe Cale Pearson walking off under his own power. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Bogan. Makes a move at the line of scrimmage. Chugging up past the 35. Down to about the 33. He's having a nice night tonight. He is. Mr. Jake Bogan. Enough for another first down. Justin Paulson on the stop there for the South O'Brien defense. Coming up on seven minutes to go here in the third quarter. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Bogan, who cuts up the middle, has a nice run up past the 20, past the 10, breaks a tackle, and is into the end zone. Flag we do have a play. flag back at about the 24-yard <coughs> line. That was a nice run there, though. Good job finding the seam and hitting, hitting it hard. Offensive line is opening up some nice running lanes here this evening. Personal foul on the Jays. Will Harpin is pretty not happy, it looks like, on the sideline. Sorry, on the field. So back the Jays up. The ball at about the 39. The first down in about 15. Yep, we'll go 15. Tough break there for Bogan. Four receiver set. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Bogan again, who runs up the middle, is met this time for a shorter gain, gain of about two. Bring up second and 13. Ball at the 38 of the Wolverines. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. Jays come out in the pistol formation. Bogan behind McCarty. Takes the snap, hands to Bogan, who tries to cut it up the middle. Met it about the line of scrimmage and falls forward to about the 36. Bring up third down and 12, 13. The spot on the field, they're going to be going fourth 
down regardless. So. Oh, yeah. Especially mm. with the score, too. Five minutes to go in the third quarter, up three, four touchdowns. Too far out for a field goal. Too close to punt. Yep. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, tucks it, cuts up the field. That is a nice cutback across the 30. Gets down to about the 26. Makes it fourth and manageable. Fourth and about two. Well, fourth and about three. Still much more manageable. Oh, yeah. Fourth and three is a lot better than fourth and 12, for sure. See what the Jays have cooked up. We have four wide receivers. Bogan to McCarty's right. McCarty takes the snap, fakes to Bogan, looks to pass, has Pacus deep, just out of the reach of Dylan Pacus. Nice diving attempt there. It will be a turnover on downs. Wolverines defense did a nice job there to stiffen up after the penalty. So it'll be first and 10 Wolverines with 4.08 remaining in the third quarter. They will have the ball on their own 26-yard line. Freck takes the snap, hands to Paulson up the middle, lowers the shoulder, running hard. Gets yeah. about three. Yeah. Not too bad. He's running hard. South of Brand's going to keep this up pace, tempo. Try to get something going, get back into this game. Freck takes a snap, drops back to pass, throws it, has a man. Oh, and it's intercepted, intercepted. by Landon Ryder. Landon Ryder picked that one off the ground. Able to return it back to the 42 of the Wolverines. Nice job there by Landon Ryder. Did a great job picking that one off the shoestrings there. Right? That was real close. That's why he's back there. Just out of reach of the intended receiver. Yep, just a little high. First and 10 Jays. Get it right back. Great field position. Yep. Starting in the other team's side of the field is never a bad place to start, for sure. Jays come out with the four wide. Bogan to McCarty's left. Whistle. Delay of game on the Jays. So it'll be first and 15 from the 47. Got to love coming out after a turnover for a delay of game. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, throws over the middle, looking for Chance Carlson. Just out of the reach. Nice attempt there by Carlson to try to get that one. It'll be second and 15. 3.26 to go, third quarter. Jays break the huddle. Bogan to McCarty's right. Four wide receivers. McCarty takes a snap, fakes the handoff, goes right, tries to cut back up the middle. Not much there. Nothing there that time. Nice job by the Wolverine defensive line. David Botchin led the way. Bring up third and long. Three minutes to go, third quarter. Third down and 14 for the Jays at the Wolverine 46. Jays doing a nice job using the play clock to their advantage. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, looks to throw, pump fakes, now rolls to his right. 
Tucks to run, cuts up across the 40. Gets down to about the 38. We got some bodies flying late, and there's the flag. There's the flag. The Jays faithful do not sound very impressed with the late penalty on that play. We have a dead ball personal foul on the Jays. So instead of a nice gain there by the quarterback, it'll be a 15-yard penalty the other way. We have another person, or did he just call it twice? We have some seniors out there talking to the officials, seeing what happened. Well, now it's fourth and 20. Thereabouts. Ish. Scoreboard yeah. says 21. I was close. Yeah, I think the penalty on that one came after the play, so it is still fourth down. And that down counts. Looks like we'll be punting this one away. Landon Ryder set to punt it away. High snap, bobble, but he fields it cleanly. Gets it away. Knuckler bounces straight up at the 43, then takes a nice little Jays roll. Gets down to about the 33 of the Wolverines. Nice job there by Ryder to wrangle in that high snap and get it away. It'll be first and 10 South O'Brien at their own 33. 154 to go here in the third quarter. Wolverines come out in their I formation. Freck takes the snap, hands to the second man through. Gets a couple. Number 43, Billy Lang again. It'll be second and eight. 1.30 to go, third quarter. Two receivers far side, one near side. Freck takes the snap, pitches it out to Lang over the right side, gets ahead of steam across the 35. Out to about the 37. Gain of about three. Bring up third and six. One minute to go here, third quarter. Jays lead this one 27 to nothing. Freck takes a snap, drops back, throws to his right, has a man complete up past the 50 into Jays territory. Gets to about the 49. Derek Paulson, it appears, brought that one in. Now for uh, South O'Brien, first down. Be first and 10 at the Jays 49. Freck takes the snap, pitches it left to Lang, who's got a nice lane, but it's shut down quickly at about the line of scrimmage. Gabe Wilchin came flying through there, make the tackle. There's a penalty on the play. Looks like a hold on the offense. Marching them back. Be first and 20 for the Wolverines offense. See if the Wolverines can get one more playoff here before the end of the quarter. Freck takes the snap, hands to Lang over the right, is grabbed in the backfield and brought down. Can't see who that was. Is that Pecos? Harping on the assist. I missed who 
Looks like it was Dylan Pecos with Will Harpenau. That's the end of three. Jays 27, South O'Brien nothing. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital Solutions. All the best sports shows, all the best games on 101.5 FM and 1570 AM for your college sports, University of South Dakota. For NHL coverage, Minnesota Wild. For NBA coverage, Minnesota Timberwolves. For MLB coverage, Chicago Cubs. And the best games in both college and the pros with the ESPN Radio featured games. Never miss out on the action. AgriVision Equipment and Exact Emerge Planner Technology is here to help you maximize your yield and efficiency, along with a proven 8 bushel per acre yield advantage because of the pinpoint accuracy of seed depth and placement. You can cover 50 acres per hour without compromising your stand. We know the risk of planting outside the optimal planting window, so don't let the weather control your bottom line. When you partner with AgriVision Equipment, you get access to the best service and technology support in the area. And visit any one of our 15 locations today to learn more about our large selection of new and used planters. AgriVision Equipment, focused on your future. Welcome back. Jim Lorenzen Field. Galen Catholic, homecoming. Start of the fourth quarter. Galen Catholic leads South O'Brien 27 0. South O'Brien has the ball at their own 39, second and 20 here to begin the fourth quarter. Freck takes the snap, hands to the second man through. Met at the line of scrimmage. Gabe Wilchin had a nice pop there. On number 26, Paulson, Justin Paulson. No game. Brings up third and 20. Wolverines break the huddle. Eye formation. Freck takes the snap, drops back, pump fakes, and throws it left. Has a nice screen play there to Paulson across the 45 to 50. Nice jump through. Gets into Jay's territory down to about the 45. Nice gain there, about 15 yards. Bring up fourth and at least manageable. Fourth and about six. 11 minutes to go here in the game. If you're the Wolverines at this point, you got to go for it. Down four possessions with less than 11 minutes to go. Taking a lot of time. Down by four scores. Looks like they're punting it. Interesting decision. Three on the clock. Gets it they off. get the snap away and kick it away. Bounces at the 18. Ryder thinks about going to get it, but thinks better of it. Got some chippiness going on here at about the 35. Let's see what they call this one on. A personal foul on the Wolverines. Personal foul on the Jays. We have offsetting personal foul penalties. So that will... Keep the ball at the 19-yard line of the Jays. It'll be first and 10. Ten nineteen to go here, fourth quarter. Getting chippy out here in the second half. Jays break the huddle. Looks like Kale Pearson's back in the game. That's a good sign for the Jays offense. We have a tight formation. McCarty takes a snap, and there's a penalty. Looks like there's a false start on the Jays there on the edge. Moving back five. First and 15 at the 14 for the Jays offense. A 
We have three receivers near side, one far side. McCarty takes the snap, hands to Pearson up the middle with a head of steam. It's out to about the original line of scrimmage, maybe the 20. Gain of about five. Bring up second and 10. 10 minutes to go here in the game. We have three receivers near side, one to the far side. Pearson behind McCarty. There's a snap, hands to Pearson, who's met in the backfield by about four Wolverines. Did a nice job coming off the edge. South O'Brien defense has stepped it up this half. Oh yeah, they're playing with some, some passion. Brings up third and 12, third and 11. Not nearly as much rushing room this half as first half for the Jays. Nope. Wolverines have definitely shut down those lanes a lot better in this half than they did in the first half. Four wide. McCarty takes the snap, fakes the handoff, keeps it himself up the middle, bounces off a tackler across the 25. It's out to about the 26, 27. Nice run there by McCarty. Make it fourth and about two or three. 8.40 to go, fourth quarter. Wolverines send a man back deep, expecting them to punt it away. Number 12, Cole Cox. Jays have Landon Ryder back deep. Set to punt it away. Snaps good. Landon with the punt. Gets it away. Nice punt that time. Takes a nice Ooh. bounce at about the 30. Goes inside the 10. It'll be down there at about the 9 or the 8. Great punt there by Ryder. Punted it from his own about 20. Down to the 9 or 8 of the other team. So that's what? 70 yards? Probably get credit for about 60 because he's about 10 yards behind the line when he kicks it, but heck of a punt there by Landon Ryan. Nice Ryder. roll for the Jays. Pins the Wolverines back deep inside their own 10, down 27 nothing with eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That is how you flip the field. There's a snap. They pitch it out to the left to the receiver. Short gain. Nice job there by the corner. Is that Bogan out there? He's been everywhere today. He's flying around. Gain of maybe one. Yep. Second and long. Must have went out of bounds. Clock stops at 7.55 to go. Freck takes a snap, hands the Paulson up the middle. Gets a couple before he's met by about five Jays. Out to the 15. Bring up third down and four. See if the Jays defense can get a stop. Get nice field position here halfway through the fourth quarter for their offense. Try to run this clock out. Freck takes the snap, hands the Paulson up the middle again, bounces off a few people, gets out past the 20. Good yep. enough there for a South O'Brien first down. Marked down at about the 22. Coming up on seven to go, fourth quarter. Wolverines have two receivers near side, one to the far side. Freck takes a snap, pumps to his right, looks left, throws it deep left, has a man again. Caught. Great, great and a penalty. They probably called P.I. on that too. 
Great catch out there by the receiver. Derek Paulson with the reception there for the Wolverines offense. Big play there. Talking to the South O'Brien sideline. More than likely a penalty on the Jays. Would guess they would decline the penalty. Pass interference on the Jays. Penalty is declined. Great catch there by the wide receiver. Right, guy in his face. All the way down to the Jays 44. Be first and 10 Wolverines. Good placement by the quarterback though too. Oh yeah, well thrown ball. Freck takes the snap, hands to Paulson. Ooh, breaks through the first line. Gets down inside the 40, marked down at the 38. Another first down. Wolverines offense is finding some traction here. Break the huddle. First and 10 at the 33. Freck takes a snap, hands the pulse up the middle. This time is met at the line of scrimmage. Maybe gain of one. D line bowed up that time nicely. Six minutes to go here, fourth quarter. Big story of the game at this point is the Jays' rushing offense. Mainly first half, though. Mainly first half, you're right. Nice snap, pass out to the left, a bobble, but brought in. Wrangled down by a couple Jays out there. Gain of a few. Bring up third and six. Ball at the Jays, 30, 29. Somebody in the crowd wants some people to pop some pads out there. Freck takes the snap, looks right, throws, has a man high. Intercepted. It looks like it's Chance Carlson brings in the interception there for the Jays' defense. Another throw that was just a little high by the quarterback. Chance Carlson that time was Johnny on the spot to make the takeaway for the Jays' defense. Jays' defense has been very opportunistic with those passes here this evening. Able to take two of them. Yeah. Got two interceptions last week as well. Mm -hmm. Secondary of the Jays is starting to find their groove a little bit. First and 10 Jays at their own 12. 5.04 to go, fourth quarter. Four receivers. McCarty takes the snap, rolls to his right, cuts up the pitches out to Pearson, who's got a nice lane. Lots Across the 30. Across the 50, let's see if anybody can catch him. To the 30, to the 20, the 10, and he's into the end zone for an 88-yard eight eight touchdown. 87-88. Cole McCarty kept it to the last second. Pitches it out to Kale great, Pearson. Great decision to pitch it there. I told you, first half, he was this close to busting a big one. He had like a 30-yarder in the first, and now he just runs for almost 90. That turns your pretty solid night into a really nice night really quickly. Nice job there by the Jays offense to get the edge. Let's see what the Jays do with the point after. Looks like they're going to go for two. McCarty has a... Four receiver set with Pearson behind him in the pistol. Takes a snap, fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, flips it over. We have Ooh. a sliding man unable to bring that one in. That would have been a heck of a that grab. Was, that would have been a great catch on his back. So with 4.49 to go, fourth quarter, Jays 33 and the Wolverines nothing. We'll be back in one minute. You're watching Fuller Digital. 
MHI and CUSO of Cherokee are on the move, expanding, and in need of residential treatment workers, psychiatric security specialists, and LPNs. We deal with disorders that you can't see. You get to help people who are in desperate need of help, and helping those people actually helps the community as well. The benefits here, I think, are top-notch. That was why I came here. To learn more and to apply, visit governmentjobs.com. The Monsignor Lafferty Tuition Foundation awards tuition scholarships to students that attend a Catholic school in the Diocese of Sioux City, including Galen and Spalding Catholic. By contributing to MLTF, donors are eligible to receive a 75% tax credit from the state of Iowa. There are no other charitable gifts that offer you a credit like that. It is also the perfect time of year to consider a gift of grain to MLTF. You can find more information at scdiocese.org under the Giving tab. Consider the gift of Catholic education. Welcome back to Jim Lorenzen Field here in Lamar's. Galen Catholic's homecoming. The Jays lead it 33 to nothing with 4.49 to go here in the fourth quarter. Just had an 88-yard touchdown run by Cale Pearson. Kind of put a capper on the offensive running game explosion that the Jays have found here this evening. Will Harpenau sends the kickoff down to about the 19. Field it at the 15. Nice run up the middle. Is met by Will Harpenau. The kicker makes the tackle. At about him, the 30. Wrapped him up good on that one. Who says kickers aren't a part of the football team, right? They can make tackles too. Nice job, Will. Showing them that you're an athlete. The first and 10 Wolverines at their own 30. 4.43 to go here in the ball game. Freck takes the snap, hands to the lead man, Paulson. Spins off a tackle, gets brought down at about the 32. Gabe Wilchin with the tackle for the Jays. Bring up second and eight. Freck takes the snap, hands to the second man through. This time is met at the line of scrimmage. Billy Lang. Forward progress of a couple, but he got swallowed up quick. Drake Hodgson led the way there for the Jays' defense. 3.50 to go here in the ball game. Wolverines have it at their own 34, third down and six. Jays do a nice job there to sit on the hard count. A little bit of miscommunication in the backfield. Running back went one way, quarterback went the other. Ended up having to just keep it and did a nice job of holding on to the ball. Could have been worse than what it was. It'll be fourth and six. Say so got back to the line of scrimmage. Three minutes to go. Wolverines set to punt it away to the Jays. Landon Ryder back deep. Nice snap. Punts away. High and short. Bounces at about the Jays 48, checks up, rolls back into Wolverine territory, is down at the 49, where the Jays will take over first and 10 with 2.41 to go here in the game. We will look ahead to next week. The Jays will travel to HMS, and South O'Brien will host Akron Westfield. Akron Westfield has a 5-1 and one record. HMS is currently winless. 0-5, I believe. 0-6, maybe. Might change tonight. I don't know who they have. So Oops. the Jays could have a potential to 
win another game next week and potentially get into the playoffs. We've got a timeout by the Jays. We'll be back in one minute. When it's time to choose a bank, the choice is easy. Prime Bank is the bank for you. With all the conveniences you want in a bank, including a mobile app and online account opening, Prime Bank also offers you pick checking with no monthly fees or minimum balances. And the best part is you get paid for everyday banking transactions. That's right. Prime Bank's you pick checking. We pay you for your everyday checking account transactions. Choose Prime Bank. It's the bank for you. Earn more your way with Prime Bank. Member FDIC. We're back. 2.41 to go. Jays have the ball. Takes the snap. Hands to Bogan. Breaks through the line of scrimmage. Gets down to about the 40. Running hard. Nice run there. Little counter play. Gain of about nine. Bring up second and one. Jays break the huddle, four wide. Bogan in the backfield behind McCarty in the pistol. McCarty takes a snap, hands to Bogan, who goes up the middle. Fighting hard, gets back to the line of scrimmage. Bring up third and short. Nice job by the defense, holding firm. That being said, I would like to give a nice shout-out to the offensive line of Galen this evening. As we said, they don't really get a lot of the credit when it comes to the scoring plays or the big flashy plays, but they've done a heck of a job tonight giving these guys some running lanes to get some nice yardage for the offense. McCarty takes a snap, hands the Bogan up the middle, gets across the 40 for a first down for the Jays. That should pretty much do it with a minute nine remaining in the fourth quarter. Those of you listening, if you're interested in the Lamar's Community Bulldogs game, they just went final with a 42 to seven victory over the Fort Dodge Dodgers. We have a tight formation here for the Jays. I wonder if they'll just go down on a knee. Letting the play clock go a little more. <laughs> Got 40 seconds to go in the game. Cardi takes the snap and does go down on a knee. And that, unless somebody wants to call a timeout in the last 30 seconds, which does not appear that they want to, that will be that. seconds, nine seconds. Great win here for the Jays tonight on homecoming. Came in and took care of business. And there is the horn. So the final here at Jim Lorenzen Field is Galen Catholic 33 and South O'Brien 0. This has been Hot Carl and Josh Schreiner signing off. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you next time on Fuller Digital Solutions.